KTCC. Our Ginetta GT winners, Tom Sharp, who's had another clean sweep on this opening Brands Hatch weekend, just the same as last year. Rob Gaffney, who won G50s as well. It feels like the perfect weekend for you, but I know that uh, that last race is preying on your mind a bit, Tom. Yeah, no, of course, it's not really the best way you want to really win a race. Seeing if one of your friends go sideways across the start and finish it's not really the best, best thing. It just seemed like a lot of, a lot of mess going on behind me. Um, can't help feel partly responsible. Well, I mean, you can have a look and see if uh, you are, in fact, responsible. This is how it happened. It was just a small tag. Yeah, small tag, but not a big con consequence. Sometimes those things happen, but when you look at the weekend overall, uh, I mean, it's on a par with what you did here last year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. It's um, obviously the third win. Um, obviously, we had a really good day yesterday and a good morning today. Um, and the car's just been absolutely phenomenal. phenomenal. Um, after the first race, you know, we've had a few clutch problems that the guys have worked absolutely non stop. You know, the guys at IDL have just been relentless with it. And, um, you know, they didn't have a m much time to uh, change the clutch, but. Sure enough, they did it and it worked and got me a cracking start. And uh, obviously, a big thanks to V Cars for getting on board. It's um, made things a lot easier for us. And um, yeah, we can go out and uh, hopefully enjoy our racing for the rest of the year. It seems that everyone down that pit lane has worked so hard to get here for the first weekend of the season. Uh, and Rob, I'm sure your team are just the same. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we actually knew this was happening on Wednesday night. So uh, this has been a very, very last minute uh, you know, deal. Obviously, we've been lucky with a couple of small sponsors, uh, GGH and LTW, um, that you know, basically got us here. Um, our plan was to actually only do this one round, but it, we need to try and find the, uh, the money to carry on with you know, we seem to be quick. Yeah, because you made a winning start, so, so, so the rest of the season is sort of uh, round by round basis, is it? Uh, at the minute, yeah, obviously we're just trying to find the, the funding to get back out, obviously uh, the results help, so uh, just got to try and work hard in the next two weeks to uh, find the money for the next round. It's astonishing, I mean, I mean that is the problem in... Uh, in Ginetta's finding the budget to go with the talent. Yourself, Tom, are you pretty secure for the rest of the season? Yeah, no, yeah, we're definitely in it for, for the year. Obviously, yeah, you can't, you know, budget for big accidents and things like that. But, uh, you know, obviously, V cars have helped out a lot this year, and obviously, IDL backed me from the beginning, really. So, um, yeah, no, it should, hopefully, we can have a proper crack at it this year. Well, there are a few incidents all around uh, uh, that last race. I don't know whether you're aware of, of Tom Ingram spinning on the on the start finish line. That, I mean, that was a chaotic finish and things. But where do you see, as the season progresses, the main opposition for you coming from? Well, I think, you know, you couldn't just spin it on one. You know, um, Jamie Orton really impressed me. Um, but, you know, Carl Breeze, you know, <laughs> he didn't have a great run at the beginning last year. And uh, sure enough, he still beat me. So, um, you know, obviously, Carl's truthfully, he's got the experience to back up his pace. Um, obviously, someone like Tom Ingram, he's won the junior championship, the uh, G50 championship. So, you know, he's going to be good. You know, you don't win them. They don't pound them out. So, um, he's going to be good for sure. And, um, yeah, there are but many, truthfully. And it's so close qualifying as close as it's ever been. So, you know, it's good to see that, you know, it's just more and more competitive year on year. And, uh, obviously, we've had a good run um, this weekend at Brands. But uh, I'm quite confident it won't be the same with Donington. But we'll be there. An interesting start to the season, uh, to say the least. A winning start for you, Rob. Well done. Three out of three for you once again, Tom Sharp. OK, well done, fellas. And we've got more Ginettas coming up in just a few minutes' time ahead of our last touring car race of the afternoon. It's the Ginette.